I'm Mimi from littlegrommets.com. First of all, I would never proclaim to be a doctor, but two of my four children have had grommets or ear tube surgery five times between them. So I've put together this series of videos of helpful information on the before, during and after of grommets or ear tube surgery in everyday language. I'll talk about the associated risks and benefits of grommets or ear tube surgery, what to expect and essential aftercare advice. This segment will cover the reasons for grommets or ear tubes. Middle ear infections, or otitis media as they're medically known, are very common in children. So much so that these days we all know someone who has had grommets or ear tube surgery to deal with repeated ear infections, or to deal with fluid buildup in the ears that doesn't go away easily, or that causes hearing problems, or speech delays. When this happens, ear, nose and throat specialists, or ENTs, usually recommend surgery. Grommets or ear tube surgery has a technical name, which is myringotomy. It involves inserting a tiny tube into the eardrum to equalise the pressure in the ear. There are a few less common conditions that might spell grommets or ear tube surgery, namely a malformation of the eardrum or a station tube, Down syndrome, cleft palate and middle ear injury. During the operation, your surgeon will make a tiny incision in the eardrum. He or she will remove all the fluid, thickened secretions, or gunk, as I call it, and in most cases, a small plastic tube called a typenostomy tube is inserted into the eardrum. This tube keeps the middle ear aerated for anywhere from six to 36 months. There are a number of variables that contribute to how long the tubes stay in, but my understanding is that physical growth has a lot to do with it. Eventually, the tubes will move out of the eardrum. This is called extrusion. Your specialist may remove the tube during a routine office visit, or you might find it on the pillow. Or in my case, never actually see where it disappeared to. They are so tiny. So if you've got the stomach for it and want to know more, you can view a video of an actual grommets or ear tubes operation. There's a link on our website, but it's definitely, definitely not recommended for children's viewing. I really hope this segment has been useful. Look out for our next instalment about grommets or ear tube complications and risks. I'm Mimi of littlegrommets.com. Thanks for watching.